This is the question asked in today's skill track daily challenge. So let us see our sample test cases. Our input contains three lines. The first line contains the string S1 and the second line contains the string S2 and the third line contains an integer x. And our task is to check whether the string S1 can be formed for x times using the characters present in S2. So here we must be checking whether the string laptop can be formed for two times using the characters present in S2. If we must be able to form the string laptop for two times then every character present in the string 1 must be occurred for two times in this string S2. And it is also given that the characters are case sensitive. So if we are checking uppercase L, we must be checking whether the uppercase L has been occurred for two times in string 2. So let us check it. First is uppercase L. So in our string 2, we can see there are two uppercase L and A. So here there are two A's present in S2. So this is uppercase L. So we should not consider this. So we must be checking for two lowercase A. So the first lowercase A and the second lowercase A. And next P. And here in the string S1, there are two P's. So this P must occur two times and this P must occur two times. So we must be checking for four lowercase character P in S2. So one, two, three and four. So now the remaining T and O. So T has occurred two times and O has occurred two times. So now all the characters present in the S1 has occurred two times in S2. So we would be able to form the string S1 for two times. Hence our output is yes. Let us see the technique which we are going to use in our program. First we are going to find the frequency count of all the characters present in S1 and S2 and store it in a separate array. And then we are going to check whether the frequency count of the characters present in S1 is greater than or equal to the frequency count of the characters present in S1. And if this condition is satisfied for all the characters, then we would be printing yes as our output. Or else finally we would be printing no as our output. Now let us see how to write a C program for this. This is the program I have written. Initially, I have declared two character arrays named S1 and S2 and then I am declaring two integer arrays in which I am going to store the frequency count of the characters present in S1 and S2. And the reason to declare it of size 128 is whatever may be the size of our input string, it may just have 1000 characters or 2000 characters. It is just going to be built with 128 ASCII characters. And every character has a respective ASCII value from 0 to 127. So in every index we are just going to store the particular count of the occurrence of the character. And then I have declared an integer variable x and then I am accepting the values of s1, s2 and x using this scanf statement. Now we have to find the frequency of all the characters present in s1 and store it in a separate array. So to do that, we are going to use a for loop that iterates through all the characters present in S1. So we are going to set a loop from 0 till string length minus 1. And in every iteration, we are going to increment the value of this integer array at the respective characters ASCII position. So when this for loop finishes its execution, we have this array with the frequency count of S1. And similarly, we are performing the same operation on string 2. So we are running a loop from 0 till string length of S2 minus 1. And in every iteration, here we are updating the frequency S2 array at the respective characters ASCII position. So when both of these for loop finishes their execution, we have two integer arrays, each representing the frequency of the characters present in S1 and S2. Now we have to check whether all the characters present in S1 has occurred for x times in S2. So to do that again we are going to run a for loop from 0 to 128 and in every iteration the frequency of S2 must be greater than frequency of S1 into x 
and if this condition fails then we are going to print no and terminate our program using this exit zero condition and after the execution of for loop if all the conditions are satisfied then finally we would be printing yes so this is the logic behind today's daily challenge now let us give sample test cases and check whether our program works or not for the first input we were able to form this string laptop for two times so we should get yes and we are also getting yes and now i have given the second test case and our expected output is no and we are also getting no so this is the logic behind today's daily challenge thank you for watching